Hello, my name is Andre O'Brien from Inoculate Vision and Design, and this is the motion capture assistant for Poser 9 and Poser Pro 2012 tutorial video one. I am extremely excited to present this plugin to the world of Poser. I've been an avid Poser user and uh, programmer for years. I've worked on the beta team for a number of years, and um, this this is just a very special moment for me. Um, this plugin is, to my knowledge, is the first plugin which um, allows for real-time streaming of data um, into the Poser application. It's doubly special when that data is actually motion capture data coming from a Kinect uh, camera, um, which allows Poser to be used as a full motion capture suite. Um, we're going to... Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use it. Uh, this video is just primarily showing you how to get started. Um, you're going to need the Connect, the Microsoft Connect camera. You're going to need, of course, a copy of Poser 9 or Poser Pro 2012. You need my motion capture assistant uh, plugin. And you're going to need some dependencies. Um, before I get started, I want to thank Robbie Collins for creating um, to uh, for creating the Pi Oskelinen. Um, dot py application and I'll explain what that is in a second but thank you very much uh, Robbie Collins he's very very helpful in me getting up and started here with um, developing this application um, oh, that's not what I'm looking at we want to go to github.com slash sense bloom slash o skeleton and you're going to download this app this little utility and the description of what this utility does a skeleton is a proxy that sends skeleton information collected from the, the connect sensor via OSC making it easier to use input from the device is very important tool to use so you need to download this first this is not an ex this is not an install application so you can use it as soon as you download it but you won't be able to use it until you download and install the open driver framework and middleware so we're going to click on this this uh, link right here. And you're going to download the Avin2 Sensor Connect from uh, Prime Sense. You're going to download that and install those using the instructions. And you're going to go down to the install notes and install the OpenNI um, framework as well as the Night middleware. You will know that you have everything up and running when you can go to the OpenNI samples bin release folder and run the ni user tracker.exe okay what you see now is some depth information from the connect camera i'm going to stand in front of the camera so you can actually get a look at me in terms of depth information Once you get that up and running, you know we, you are good to go to use Motion Capture Assistant. Uh, and without further ado, please um, look at um, video two for directions on how to use this wonderful new and exciting tool. Oh, um, by the way, um, the first release um, is going to um, it's going to accommodate one user at a time. Um, I'm developing the next release which is going to be the quote-unquote pro version you know how software companies uh, are going from the standard to pro version so the pro version is actually going to accommodate multiple um, users in a scene um, the upgrade price is going to be comparable to if you just bought it flat out it's going to be um, of course the standalone for multiple is going to be the single application which is what will first be available and then it'll be the upgrade to the single so if you want to buy this now to try it out um, that's perfectly fine and you can upgrade at a later date when I release it um, you may have heard as far as the open NI network accommodating multiple connects um, to my knowledge that is true but that's not currently supported um, multiple connects is not currently supported by motion capture assistant um, as soon as they make it available for or skeleton then I will make it available um, to you guys so um, I thank you very much for viewing this portion of the video um, if you have any problems getting started for you PC guys I can send you a zip file of all of the dependencies necessary to get started 
Um, Keep in mind that an Avid sensor connect is going to, you're going to have to install that manually in your d device manager, um, and there are instructions for that on the site that I just showed you. Um, for you Mac guys, I don't own a Mac. I'm sorry. Um, I've had this issue <laughs> with all of the Mac plugins I've developed over the years. I usually just happen to find some great Mac pr user, and they're able to help me um, just to test whatever plugins, make sure everything is working well. I've usually only had uh, interface issues. Um, but you know, if anybody can, if anybody is sure on how to get the night, how to get, how to get the open and framework to run on the Mac, um, just shoot me an email. I'll definitely give you credit, um, or maybe a discount on uh, this plugin if you're interested in buying it. Um, and uh, this plugin will be available on Content Paradise. Shoot me an email at forgedbyflash at aol.com. That's F O R G E D. B Y F L A S H at AOL dot com or give me a phone call at two one five six eight one sixteen thirty five. That's two one five six eight one sixteen thirty five. I'm always available for help, um, and I'll get to you as soon as I can, to the best of my ability. Um, please um, view video two on how to actually operate uh, this wonderful plugin. Um, oh, I almost forgot to show you the plugin. I'm so excited to get started. Uh, once you download the application. Once you download the plugin and install it, you're going to go to scripts, inoculate vision and design, and motion capture assistant. Um, the widget that pops up, you can have it floating, or, or if you're trying to, if you're worried about uh, the real estate, the amount of uh, real estate you have on your monitor, just dock it to the Poser UI. The OSC server address and port numbers are going to remain fixed for now, but in future updates, um, I'm going to make these editable. But for now, I'm going to leave them at, as they are. Um, we're going to make Andy invisible for a moment, and we're going to make objects. Um, this square is the MCA point cloud square, which just allows you to allows you to move the point cloud that's created um, without breaking up the fidelity of your animation. Um, if we look at the list of points within this point cloud, you'll see that there are several. There are uh, a certain number from body part head to body part our foot which will allow you to, which will allow us to visually represent the actor that's standing in front of the motion capture in front of the uh, Xbox connect okay all of these functions from the figure um, which allows you to select the current figure remember it's Andy too he just happens to be invisible uh, once you select the figure um, the drop down menus will be populated with all the actors within the figure and I will explain what each of these four buttons do the make hip body keyframes attached cloud and delete point cloud do in the next video okay so um, if you're ready to get started uh, please go over to video two thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoy yourself um, thank you you take care